Welcome back. On the last episode, I showed you how to make homemade amaretto. We're going to use a little bit of this bad boy, but you don't necessarily need it because what you definitely need in this for this recipe is beer. And in this case, I'm going to use stout because I'm going to show you how to make beer brownies. And other than having brewski ready, which you're also going to need are a few other things. You're going to need a cup of flour. You're going to need a quarter cup of cocoa powder. You're going to need a cup of sugar, and I use a mixture of 50-50 white sugar and um, brown sugar. You're going to need four eggs. You're going to need a quarter cup of softened butter or margarine. You're going to need a pinch of salt. You're going to need a little bit of vanilla, and you're also going to need some nonstick cooking spray. Along with that, you're going to need a few other things. You need a dish to put the brownies in. You need either a whisk or a... Uh, fork to scramble your four eggs, a measuring spoon and two, count them, two bowls. In fact, what we're going to do is swap bowls out here because to get things started, what we're going to do first is we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients in the big bowl. So we'll take our flour, pour that into the bowl. Going to take our cocoa powder, also put that in the bowl. And then we're going to pour on the sugar and as you can see, some of it's white. And some of it's dark sugar. Then you take your spoon, or in my case, just going to use my whisk because you just want to kind of mix it up and knock out any big lumps. This is going to be the core of your, your brownies. Then we're going to take bowl number two and then we're going to crack a few eggs, four of them actually. One, two, three, and you can see neatness counts in man cave munchies, right? And four. And like I said, using either a fork or a whisk, we're simply going to scramble these bad boys. This is not like making an omelet, so you don't have to scramble them to death. You just want to break up the egg whites. And the yolks. Okay. Then into that, we're going to take our measuring spoon and we're going to measure out one tablespoon of vanilla. We're going to pour that into the eggs. Now we're going to give that a quick little stir. With a spoon, we're now going to mix this into this, like so. And Jeff, what I normally like to do is mix a little bit, you know, do it a little at a time, and just blend it in. Let's get things started. Okay. Alrighty. Then I'm going to open up my vitamin B over here, my stout. And I'm going to measure one half cup. And what you want to do again is let, I would, what I normally do is do this at room temperature because or else you're going to get a ton of foam. I'm also going to give it a couple of tablespoons of my homemade amaretto just for flavor. There you go. And last but not least, put in your melted butter. If it doesn't want to cooperate. Convince it. And then it's just a matter of stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring until you get a nice smooth batter. It'll take you a couple of seconds, but not too long. Plug back on my homemade hooch. And as you can see, it's already just about there. Just trying to blend in the last of the butter. And then we're going to pour this into here, and you know, you can use in, into this, and you've got your choice. You can use a, a longer pan or you can use a shorter pan, depending on how thick you want your brownies to be. I'll tell you what, I think i got enough batter here, I think I'm going to swap it out for the longer pan. Okay, 
So we'll use the bigger pan because I think I've got tons of batter here. And the first thing I'm going to do, take my nonstick cooking spray and give it a good shot so it doesn't get stuck. Okay, pull that off there with my fingers. I'm going to take my spatula. You'll probably need one of these because so, you want to get all that out of there. And yeah, it's kind of loose. That's the way brownies usually are. Try to get as much of it out of the bowl as you can. Then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this bad boy into a 350 degree oven. And we're going to let that bake in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or until you can stick a toothpick in it and have it come out clean. So stand by. So, beer brownies. Tell everyone you saw them first. On oh, Man Cave Munchies.